What's up everybody, Jesse back here showing you the review of the brand new Shenron figure. Oh my god guys, I never thought this was possible. I never thought that we were going to get a Shenron figure, an articulated Shenron figure, which is pretty badass. So today's review is going to be a little bit differently. I'm currently holding the uh, mini tripod I have here because this guy is so massive. This dude is so massive. Uh, got me in the living room right now. So let's look at the box. The Eternal Dragon, and I think it's always, I think it's cool. I always thought it was cool that, you know, as the Eternal Dragon, he has, you know, he's always called up in the, uh, sort of the in infinite symbol, you know, infinite symbol, infinite. I think it's always, I thought that was cool. So here's the box. See the bootleg Dragon Balls. There's actually nothing there. But yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Let's flip this box over to the side. See you showing on posed up. I think this is pretty dope. Like I said guys, this review might be a little longer than normal and might have a little bit more cuts than normal. So right now, give me one quick second while we take this guy out of the box. Alright guys, and here we have Shenron out the box. You guys can see he comes with, you know, a big stand here. With different clips and ball joints there and we'll be taking a look at this guy piece by piece individually so you guys can see that's the head sculpt it looks amazing look at all the detail they were able to sculpt on this guy this is insane his mouth opens up about that much which kind of blows to me kind of thought it would be a little bit more but then check out the underside all that detail is so awesome so awesome you got his horns here i don't know if their horns are supposed to be made out of wood or you know just dark bone material but they do look really really good they look awesome guys red eyes there now here it says number two on the peg right there no, not gonna show up but it says number two we'll put that aside right here is uh, his uh, other body whoops here we go He's flexing, flexing right now. Getting more detail on the body. So sick. Yeah, and there you go. Then, uh, his body is pre coiled, but as you can see, and there's a uh, levels of articulation there. So you can move him around and move him, you know, up or down pretty far. And his, uh, his arms are fully articulated. He has the shoulder joints there, able to move them in and out. He has a bicep swivel, and he has a bicep joint, and, and uh, actually does have a bicep swivel. And he has, you know, his hands. Look how articulated all that is, and how well sculpted everything is. This is phenomenal. This is amazing. I'm super happy to get this guy. And we have his uh, other part of the body here, which would be his legs. Uh, I kind of think. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm about to say, I kind of think they're backwards, but they're not. No, oh, again, it's coiled all the way down. Beautiful sculpt work on this guy. And again, these pieces, although segmented, are fully uh, posable. Let's take a look at uh, the lower, the last part of his body, with the tail. This is pretty awesome. Can't wait to put this guy together and show him off. And last but not least, the uh, fake Dragon Balls. As you can see it's nothing. It's really nothing. It's just gold color balls. That's it. Oops, sorry. I was looking at them. <laughs> yeah, it's really nothing. It sucks. Then you have the effect. What's cool though is that I heard if you have the Dragon Balls from the, uh, was it WCF or WHF Shenron figure, the Ben Presto one, they actually fit in here very nice and look phenomenal. So I'll probably be looking uh, to get that once I have it all displayed. Don't know how uh, how I feel about dropping 50 bucks on that just to get Dragon Ball set, but whatever. Alright guys, let's, uh, I'm going to take one quick cut so I can put this guy up and uh, see how it looks all, all posed up. Holy shit, you guys. This looks so sick, but it literally took me 15 minutes 
to fucking put this shit together. Because one, I didn't look at the instructions because I didn't want to. Two, I thought it would be a lot easier. And three, because I wanted it to have that, uh, that infinity symbol look. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that stand is not as easy as it looks to uh, put together and to gauge pretty much how you want to have them set up. On the box art, it looks like uh, they pretty much place them on there first. Like they piece them together on the thing itself. So he's actually like intertwining between this, which looks pretty cool. But I don't think this uh, looks bad either. I think this looks pretty fucking cool. Oh, I just noticed something. Hold on one second. And there we go, guys. I totally forgot about Shenron's whiskers. Totally forgot about that. So here we go. It's a great look at Shenron. SH Figuarts line. I am super happy with this guy. This looks fucking amazing, guys. Alright, dudes. Let me know what you think. And uh, have a great one. I thoroughly enjoyed making this shit. This is awesome as hell. Alright, dudes. Have a good one. Let me know if you guys are interested in buying this. Would you buy it? Oh, do you think about the price point? It was like, I think, 100 bucks to pick this guy up. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Later.